from one nomination, it's everything that my family does and all the volunteers do to help out. So yeah, I guess I'm just the, the lucky face of it, but um, there's a lot of people who help me out behind the scenes. In 2017, my cousin Parker took his life and then that triggers you to go and have a look into, I guess, Indigenous youth suicide. And once you sort of see how alarming the statistics are, uh, it changed our mission and our focus and in 2018 the Cultural Choice Association was formed and it's basically to, the, to assist uh, in bringing awareness and the prevention of Indigenous youth suicide and its related causes here in Australia and my dad always painted my boots for Indigenous Round and in 2018 I auctioned them off and donated the money back to the charity and then Aidan Guerra approached me and sort of said next year can you please get your dad to do a pair of mine and at the time I'd sort of just started becoming really close with the guys at Kirinari Hostel and um, I was thinking about it and then I had a conversation with my mum and I thought why don't we see if we can get more boys to give some boots to get painted and see if we can get all the kids at the Kirinari Hostel to paint them. Um, and then that conversation went from you know getting 10 blokes and then 25 ended up jumping on board so we started engaging some local community uh, groups so we've got the Glen which is a um, indigenous rehab on the central coast, Kirinari Hostel and then worked with the Baxter Detention Centre on the central coast so um, with their like indigenous art students up there and um, in the first year we did that we ended up raising I think it was $26,000 and then that 50% of that goes back to the artists and then the other percent goes into the association but then this year, 2020, we actually had a few other teams come on board, which was really cool. So the Warriors jumped on, the Tigers, the Knights again, and then we had a few of the Titans players. That meant we had to find more artists, and um, I guess that's where a conversation with the Department of Justice started, and now they're you know, a massive supporter of uh, the Boots for Brighter Futures initiative, and the most special thing is just seeing how it actually impacts the artists. And, there was an example of it this year where one of the young men who was in um, juvie had, fall, had a falling out with his family, hadn't spoken to him and um, his best mate who was his cousin had, had just passed and I guess the mentors in uh, the juvie really struggled to sort of connect with him and um, it was through doing his boots this year. His auntie is actually an Indigenous artist so they sort of teed it up for her to come in and help him out, paint the boots. Mm. Through this, I guess he you know, connected back with his culture, uh, reconnected with his auntie, reconnected with his family, and his auntie's actually asked him to move in when um, he gets out of juvie, so, yeah, <laughs> mum called me crying about that. It was, yeah, that's, that's um, kind of overwhelming just to think that a program like this or an action so simple as um, painting boots can create that sort of um, effect for that dude, so. You know, I believe while I'm in a position that I am, I should give back and try and inspire the next generation of players. Um, I was once a young kid who looked up to the person sitting here in my shoes, so um, if I was here and not doing it, I don't think I'd be doing my job correctly. And then obviously, you know, a big one has just been, you know, an inspirational uh, person for young Indigenous kids and just someone that they can look up to and aspire to be like one day and um, not only do things positively on the football field but be able to make change off it so I think um, I've got to use my voice to do that.